Uh, hello everybody, so today I'll be showing you how to make uh, a simple uh, GUI uh, program using uh, C++ and Microsoft Visual Studio. This program will be calculating the factorial of the inputted integer number. So, uh, as you can see, this is the program that we'll be having. This is the Microsoft Visual Studio. I'll go to File, New, Project. At the beginning, I will be creating a new project. This project is of C++, Visual C++ type, and we'll go to CLR. In CLR, we'll go to CLR and project. Okay, then we'll have the name of the project. I will keep it as default, which is Project 6. Then, okay, we'll create the project. Now the project is uh, being created. Uh, once the, the creation is done, we'll go to Project, then Add New Item. This new item will go to Visual C++, then UI, then we will go to Windows Form. Then after that, we'll click Add. You can notice that its name is My Form. Now the file is uh, being created, the form file is being created. We'll be having actually two files, one which is the interface, which is this one. This is the interface where we'll put our buttons and all this stuff, and we'll have another file which will be responsible for the coding. So this is the main part. We can go to the properties. You can see on the top it's written my form. I can change it and name it factorial calculator. Okay, so the name I've changed. And uh, let's put a label. So I'll go to toolbox. Then I'll go to common controls. Then I'll go to label. Okay. And I'll take another label, one one for just like a, be like a, a title, another label for the result. And we need one button to calculate. And we'll need one text box to enter the value. So this one, I'll change it. Uh, not from here. I'll, go, I'll click just one click on it, then I'll go to properties. Then I can modify whatever I can. From here, you can see that this is the label text. So, factorial calculator text alignment. Let's make it. Uh, it's not showing anything. Top left, top center, top right, middle left, and middle middle center. Okay, so just keep. Middle center, just give it on middle center. Let me see if I can also change something else. The font, yes, just to increase the font. The font, let's make it a little bit bigger. Bold. Okay, this would be fine. So, factory calculator here. Uh, for the input. This is the text box that we will be using it for the input. Uh, <coughs> I'll write inside it, please, in uh, just input, oh, please input an integer. Just give it all so integer number. Okay, so Please input an integer number. So even this one, I can make it on the middle, just like a formatting from properties. I'll go to text align and right now just go take it to the center. Okay, so <coughs> I'll put it in the bottom here in the center. And here I'll this button will be just the, so that the user will click on it in order to calculate the factorial. So calculate. Okay, and here let's put another text box, another label. So for this one, okay, sorry. So I'll go to properties, then the factorial is equal. to column 
particular is equal to then this label just I'll take it beside it so that will display the result so we'll input the number here we'll click on this one to calculate it and we'll display the result in place of label 2 uh, at the beginning just I will change what's written inside label 2 like uh, please at the beginning as initial thing or number not entered not entered okay so once the user input the number and click on calculate, then this text will be changed. Okay. <clears throat> this one I can make it bold, just to make it look better. Bold, yes. So to make it bold, uh, from here, bold, okay. Take it a little bit to the back. Okay, so now this one just take a little bit to the right, so we'll align it to the middle. Okay, so the interface is ready now. Just let's save it, Control S, I'm saving it. Now, uh, what do I need to do? I need to go to Properties, click on the project, then go to Properties, go to Linker, then specify that. <coughs> then from the Linker, yes, I have to specify the following that uh, the system that will be using for it it will be Windows system we'll use it for Windows system and I'll specify the main function that will be executed entry point will be the main okay so then apply I'll go to apply and okay so I specify that it will be for Windows Windows application and it will be working uh, uh, it will go to the main function. So this is the program. Now we want to put the code for this. Just before we go there, we ha I have to see what's the name of this part and what's the name of this part so that I can refer to them in my program. So for the input, it's called, what is its name? It's called text box one. So just remember this name, text box one. And for this, it's called label two. So uh, now after we know that this is the name of this part and the name of this part, uh, just I need to uh, do the following. Just go to myform.cpp and you have to include this code. No need to worry about it. If you want to uh, know what does each part of it means, then you can search for that in the internet. Just take the code from here, copy it, and paste it here. Just make sure the name of the project, project sets, here it's project sets, my form is my form, and that's it. If you make sure that both of them are correct, then خلاص, the program will work, inshallah. So then uh, let's close this. We come back to our uh, interface. I'll click on the calculate because I want all the processes to be happening to, uh, once I click the button. So I'll double click on calculate. Then I'll click enter, enter, enter. My code will be in this place. So what I will be doing, I will be taking a text from the uh, from the text box. This uh, text will be taken from the text box, this text box. Okay which uh, its name is uh, text box one I'll take this text the text will be taken as string so I'll convert it first I'll take the text convert it to uh, integer do the calculations convert it back to string display it that will be the process so first I need to take this uh, the text so I'll be taking a string or I'll be identifying a new uh, a new string variable uh, let's uh, call it uh, input on for i n okay i n for input uh, equal to i'll be taking it from text box as you remember text box one then i'll be taking the text i'll be taking what the text uh, property of it okay and i'll be saving it in i n after that what i will be doing the, now i got it and it's saved as a string i want to convert it to to what to uh, or to convert it back to an integer so i will say the following uh, i n i integer I and I input integer okay just for that uh, to be equal to system this is a built-in function that you can use to convert from string to integer and from anything to other just you have to replace the phone so to convert from string to integer integer or anything to integer just I will type to integer okay to integer yes this will work 
and I'll put what the variable that I want to convert, which is i n, semicolon. Now I have i and i in an integer. Okay. What I will be doing, I will be finding the factorial. To find the factorial, first I have to define a new variable, fact. Let's call it fact and initialize it with the number one. Then I have to make for loop integer i equal to one, starting from one. Okay. Ending at the i and i, the number which is entered, and i plus plus. Then from inside, I will be saying fact equal to the factorial equal to factorial old value of the factorial multiplied by the uh, i. Okay. Multiplied by i, yes. So semicolon. This is the value is stored now. In fact, uh, what I will be doing uh, now, I have the number is stored. In fact, I want to convert it back to string. So let's save it in i n again. Okay. Why I'm converting back to string? Because I want to display it as a text. Okay. So i n will be equal to. Will be equal to. I will use the same property system. Okay. So system colon convert. To string, I'll be converting factorial and I'll save the value in i i n. Then I want to display the text where I want to display the text on this label, which is which is label two. Okay, so go back. So label two, the text property of label two. I want it to be equal to i n. That's it. Now let's run the program and inshallah it will be working perfectly. So please enter an integer. Let's put 3. Calculate it's 6. The factorial of 3 is 6. Factorial of 4 is 24. And so on. Factorial of 5. So the program is working perfectly. Thank you very much for listening. And if you have any questions, I will be more than glad to answer all your questions. Thank you.